Hey everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles, and um, I am back with what is going to be the third and final unboxing video from the craft haul I, I purchased. So if you've watched the other videos, you know I bought a lady's craft supplies on Facebook Marketplace. And at the bottom of this box, I thought I had left only about, ooh, isn't that pretty, about a third of the box but there's actually i think more than a third but what we're gonna just zip through it and then do a craft but look at the pretty paper i hope that didn't make you guys nauseous so i love those poppies there was a huge pile of these scrapbook um paper packs at the bottom i, I had a feeling there was going to be some paper or things at the bottom simply because of how heavy the box was. Um, I had already I had already gotten to some paper though and I showed you that in one of the other videos. These are just beautiful. Um, so I I thought I was, I, I, I thought that was it. So here we are, some of these I have never seen before. I am gonna have so much fun making one page wonders and other treasures with these papers. There's a whole, like a Paris, the pink passport. Let's see. Um, ooh, this is different. So these are um, black, black pages with gold accents. So again, I'm, I'm not quite sure how this is looking on the camera, but I hope you guys can see a little bit. This one's called City Maps. Ooh, and they're double-sided. Some cards, some maps. Yeah, that's fun. Kind of themed. So that would be good for like a travel journal or a vacation journal. These look like just kind of some abstract kind of prints. Let's see. Oh, friend two. Very pretty. Lots of colors. Flower stripes. This one looks like white with glittery silver on them. So much paper. All right, here's a little kit. Let's see. She got it on sale somewhere for $2.25. And it looks like, looks like it's the ones that you can kind of get at Hobby Lobby where they have the coordinating pages, stickers, some ephemera. So that's cute. Ooh, I love the green. I'm definitely... <laughs> not going to need paper for a long time. I already had my own stash that was pretty large. Ooh, we recognize this, Tim Holtz. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> it was a tease. It's just the um, cover, but I guess I could use those little squares for something. All right, this is fun. Craft, everyday craft. Um, butterflies. That's pretty cool. Oh, look, here's some of the Tim Holtz pages. They were stuck underneath. Let's see, there's the bingo sheet. Look at the photos. I love this page. I've seen this set before, and I may have had it way back in the day. It's very grungy and dark. Some ledger paper. Oh, these are fun. So, um, yeah, there's still some pages from that kit and the cover. <laughs> Uh, some more of the abstract. Let's see. Oh, wildflower. I love flowers. Let's see what we've got. I think I'm seeing another Tim Holtz here. We'll see if it's another tease. Ooh, these are pretty. Lots of good ones um, I'm seeing for the spring. Let's see what this one is. I don't know that I've ever seen this. Paper stash. Hmm. So these look like a combination of craft and white and it's really hard to see but there is a little bit of like a clear almost embossing on them in different patterns so that's kind of fun and it's super thick it's really thick okay so those I think are all of the big 12 by 12 papers and they're very heavy so I just set them down now there were also a couple more, let's see, coloring books, fun. What is this one? 
watercolor. Ooh, it's a coloring book, but on watercolor paper. Wow, these are really thick. And what's cool is, because I guess I could if I didn't want to use this side. Isn't that beautiful? Um, if I didn't want a watercolor on the side they printed, I could use the other side. But these are pretty. That would be kind of a fun thing to play with. And then what is this? I think this is just watercolor paper. Yeah, nice and thick, good quality. Pretty, pretty. All right, guess what? More sequins and more bling. Someone in the last video, and I apologize, it's hard to remember who made which comments, but um, made a suggestion when I made that kind of ugly shaker pack <laughs> that maybe I could make some shaker packs to include like in gifts or happy mails or to share some of the abundance that I have. And I thought, what a good idea because if I put these um, in projects, then you could open them up and, and use what's inside the shaker if you wanted to. Um, I could also just bag up a variety and send them. I always, when someone makes a purchase in my Etsy shop, I always add a little something something and more tape, a lot of glitter. Um, and that might be fun as part of the, the little thank you for purchase is to include some blings. These look like they were for nail art. They're little sequins. Lots of glitter. Hmm, some washi tape. I love washi tape. So, ooh, and a glitter spoon. It's always nice to have. Some shells. All right, so lots of glitter and bling in that one. So anyway, great idea to share um, the abundance, and I'm sure I will need to come up with some ideas for that because I do have a lot. Here's a green piece of fabric. This is funny to me. Um, relax, <laughs> a metal word, and I'm sure I could figure out a way to turn that into some kind of craft for my craft room. And this looks like uh, just a paint palette and a paintbrush and a pencil. I'm wondering if this was um, to brush off all the glitter, like I'm just brushing mine onto the floor now. So a soft brush. Oh, look. Another bin of, oh, these are little tea lights, but glitter, glitter. We have lots of glitter. Um, more things. Again, I think she may have been really getting into like resin projects. Ooh, there's some Velcro dots. Now these are thicker than the kind I use in my paper crafts, but I'm sure these will be good for something. But anyway, I think she was probably starting to really, or was really into some of the resin projects because I think that's what some of this glitter and the chunky uh, sparkly things might be. All right. I am not going to do a glitter project today. How's that? Now, here's the mystery, and I promise I have not open, opened these. There are these two really pretty boxes, storage boxes. One does have a label on it, and it says embossing supplies. So let's open it up and see. Ooh, yep. She definitely liked to emboss. So I don't know if you guys have ever done this, but you just use like the Versamark um, or the embossing um, pads. They're clear with a rubber stamp. And I used to do this all the time. And then you have your embossing powders and then you use a heat gun. And um, there's the clear, which was always my favorite. You use the heat gun to then set it. And I haven't done it in a very long time. And maybe we will emboss something. Oh, she has like even like the powders that you're supposed to. Um, so... so the embossing powder will only stick to what you stamped with the the, the um, clear embossing ink, whatever it's called. Um, if you rub it with these this kind of powder, it won't accidentally stick to other pieces on the page, if I remember correctly. There's a little pair of um, crafting tweezers. So maybe we'll emboss something. I'll have to get a stamp out. I haven't found any stamps in this collection. So... That's fun. Oh, an embossing pad inker. <laughs> and it's pink, did not know that. Okay, so let me set this aside. Maybe we'll emboss something. 
it used to be really big in like stamping up and um, card making. And, and I still see people doing it and I love it. I just don't really think to do it. All right, some mini clothespins, a uh, ring binder. I haven't, I've used these in the past, but I haven't done it in a long time where you make your own little journal and you use the hardware and then it's a, you have holes in it for the pages. So that's something I could use. Here is some kind of, oh, it's the punch. That's the right size to use with that for your papers. It's convenient. I love hardware, look at that. Ornate plates, hasn't been opened. Here's a little tiny gift bag. Let's see. Some more little clothespins, stickers. I love words. I love word stickers. Here's a little bird. Hmm. This looks like the same, like tissue paper, or the same texture as like a sewing pattern, but it's definitely a Tim Holtz something. So very cute. We could use that to layer and collage with. Uh-oh. <laughs> I hear my puppy dogs. I think their dad is getting home. He had run to wash the car and I think go by the store. All right, these are the grungy elements, and I remember these. They have a name, um, grunge blocks. These are letters, um, but Tim Holtz used to make this material, and then you could do all kinds of mixed media on it, paint, inks, all kinds of stuff, and I haven't thought about this in a long time. He even used to carry in his line, like just the sheets that you could just make all kinds of things with. There's a tag, a ring. I think that's it. I think we got to the bottom. Guess what? We found a tag, and let's let's maybe we'll have a theme here. I'll make a tag, um, but I want to emboss on it. So let me think. I'm gonna think about that while I'm throwing this stuff back in here, and I definitely. I think scored in my craft haul. Um, really happy with my purchase and all the fun, beautiful things that were included in there. Okay, so if we're gonna make a tag and we're gonna emboss something on the tag, we also need a piece of paper. So I'm gonna reach behind me and embossing is a little bit easier I think on a solid piece of paper, that's just my opinion, so you guys can see what I've embossed. So I went to my scrap pile. There's a blue and orange. I mean, that is, whoo, I don't know. Let me see what else I have. I was starting to thumb through all of this paper we just looked at, but I don't really recall seeing a lot of solids. Um, there were definitely some really pretty, pretty florals that I liked. It was kind of near the beginning. I was getting excited about this poppy. The poppy paper. Let's see. Let's see. I don't even know if you guys can see what I'm looking at. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it, but it is beautiful. I was thinking on some of these two-sided ones, maybe we would have a solid... Color, but I'm not successful so far in finding a piece. All right, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Instead, we will cut a couple of tags out of this paper and I will get out a stamp and we will have fun. So I'm gonna make mine, I think this is a two and a half inch wide tag, uh, approximately. I decided we're gonna make them though on this paper instead of that paper. I'm gonna have to dig deep here to remember how I used to do this. But I'm gonna use the tag as my template for the angles at the top of my tag. So if you haven't watched the other videos in this series, I did it on the first one and I decided to do it again um, on the second. So we're gonna keep the tradition going where I just do a on the fly, surprise, quick craft. And the intent was to use things that I had unpacked 
and I think this counts. Um, maybe we'll open up the other box and get a word or something out to add to it, to the tag. But I saw this embossing equipment or supplies and thought, well, this will be fun. All right, I'm just got, I just got us out a piece of paper, scrap piece of paper. I'll do one on the orange side and one on the blue side. And that is my dog, Matthew. If you can hear him, he is being quite a vocal right now. And um, we'll do a butterfly. I'm not gonna sit here and worry too much. These are cute too. All right, we'll use this one because we can do a mushroom and a butterfly. All right, and <laughs> he, he's just going to town going to town. All right. I'm going to hope. Oh yeah. Ooh, gosh. Well, there was a lot of powder in this little, little fella had a lot of powder in it. You definitely don't need that much that I recall. Ooh, I can smell it too. Okay. I may have to do rub it again here in a second. Let me get this off of our paper into the trash bin we go. Okay. I'm going to be a little more gentle. I think that's what we do. And then let's get our rubber stamp. And these are a graphic 45 um, that I've had for a long time. I don't know that I've ever used them, but there you go. All right, we're going to do the mushroom first. And I do have a block here on my desk. And we'll place it on the block. No, all of these seem open. The Versa Mark is the brand I always used. Oh yeah, they're still sticky, okay. Um, I don't know if it matters. Maybe we'll use that other one and see if there's a difference um, in a minute. So I am going to stamp with the Versa Mark ink right there, and I know you can't really see it because it's just this clear um, mater material, I don't know, I, you can call it ink, even though there's not really a color to it, that the embossing powder will now stick to. And then on the blue one, I'm going to do a butterfly and I don't know, a flower. And we'll, we'll just go whole hog on this one and we'll do, um, and we could do them separately. I'm just kind of making a little pattern here. Let's see if I do, you are my sunshine. How do I want this to look? And with a cute little flower like that. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to look good or not, but we're going to just do it. Now, I'm also going to test. Let's see if this one feels sticky. Oh, that feels completely dry, y'all. So my, te my test on that is not going to happen. We're going to just stay with the Versamark brand that is still sticky. And I probably have my embossing stuff somewhere. I even had like this tray that you would pour the powder over. I'm going to let the little bit of the wing of the butterfly maybe go off the edge. I don't know if it did or not. Okay. And best practice definitely would be for me to clean these stamps before I put them away, but I don't have any idea where my stamp cleaning supplies are, so I'm going to set them to the side and with the best of intentions of cleaning them later, we'll see if that happens. All right. I'm going to put the blue one there for a second. Now, you can use clear embossing powder, right? And then it'll just look shiny, which that's always fun. But there's all these colors, and so I'm feeling a little inspired. Like, here's another. Um, that one's kind of an opaque, so it wouldn't dry clear, I believe. This is the ultra thick. But there's gold. The gold will look cute. Um, there's a green, purple, there's even a pink. 
you know, we have lots of options. There's sparkly white. Let's go with a gold. Why not? Let's just make a big mess if I can get it open. Oh my gosh, this has never been open. There is a lot of gold in here, so I'm just going to go with one that's already open. Okay, so if I remember correctly, then I just sprinkle the embossing powder. And you want to cover the whole image and then knock off the excess. Okay, hopefully it's gonna turn out well. And then we will put the gold embossing powder back in here. And this is where that little tray came in handy that I had. I'll have to look for that in my stash if I get back into doing a lot of embossing. Okay, on the blue one, why don't we do the extra thick? I used to use this and, and see it, how, how it looks. Just kind of clear and super shiny, right? And this is where you definitely don't want to have a bunch of stray pieces on your paper. Because when I go hit it with the heat gun, it is going to... It, it would show, absolutely show. Okay, so now I'm gonna set these here. I have an embossing heat gun somewhere, and then I also have this mega heat gun. I gotta plug it in. And I actually keep it down here because I use it to dry my glue and things like that. This came out of my husband's shop. It gets, shop. It gets really hot really hot so I don't want to burn anything I'm going to put it on the lowest setting let's see what happens if it'll melt it I'm gonna whoa go a little bit higher you can start to see when it melts I hope you guys can hear me when it starts to melt I should be able to see it yep there it goes I'm gonna turn it back down it's looking really pretty but you do want to make sure you get all of it or it's powder and it'll just kind of rub off. Okay, I think I did it. Let's do this one really quick. Now that it's heated, I think it's going to melt pretty quickly. So sweet. And some of these kind of blew off. So I've got some little dots around my, my tag, but that's okay. And if you go too much and burn it, it will turn brown. <laughs> I remember that from my card making days. We're not paying attention. Look how pretty. Can you guys see how glossy? Yeah, that's fun. I forgot how much I liked doing that. And the gold one is really pretty. I think that turned out great. So we've embossed, but you know, it definitely needs a little something something so let me think about how we might be able to kick our tags up a notch um, just having embossed little pieces I am going to definitely now stay true to the let's craft with what what we opened up I think there were a few of these pieces. we'll add some little strips of paper or something to to these tags to dress them up just a little okay and then maybe a ribbon or something I have to I have stuff everywhere I just I do I have stuff everywhere all right what are we gonna do this is one-sided paper and I I don't even see. I'm gonna have to grab my other ruler. I don't even see my ruler. Ah, you know why? It's because I left it on my other workspace. Okay, there we go. We have the ruler, and I am going to tear just an inch strip off of our 12 by 12 paper. And I've got to decide the You Are My Sunshine. Um, I probably should have used a fine uh, 
a fine embossing powder because all the letters just kind of rub together, but I really like how the butterfly turned out. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do something crazy and I'm gonna tear the tag so it kind of has a torn bottom. And then let's get out some ink. And I've got that one little butterfly there, but I'm gonna do a strip on the bottom of the tag. And it kind of has a torn edge too. All right, and I'm gonna cut it to the width of my tag. Okay. And we'll get a little bit of the brown showing through. So let's just get a little glue out. I'll put it right along the edge of the tag too. All right, written there. Um, a long time ago, I did a video kind of showing some paper ruffles that were really cute. Maybe we'll do some paper ruffles. Um, trying to remember. I think I just used my finger and, and, and did the ruffle, but I should have left, left the edge up a little bit if I'm going to do ruffles. Maybe we'll do the ruffles on the orange one. So there we go. It definitely needs more though, doesn't it? So let's see. I like this piece here that has the faux stamp and some of the foilage. Foil, foil? Foilage? How do you say that? Oh, I wish you guys could talk back and tell me. All right. Foilage. I think that's it, maybe. All right. I'm just going to tear again. And now I'm going to finger tear. I'm trying to, and what I'm thinking is I may need to find where I put this piece of paper. What we may need to do is just tear this whole tag up because I'm I'm kind of wanting to see something different. If that I don't know if that makes sense when I say see something different. It it feels like this little butterfly over here is kind of on its own. So, I'm going to tear some paper. We're going to piece some things together and then put it back on a large, back on a tag. So we have to cut another tag here in a second because the butterfly just seemed lonely there. We needed some more, some more things. Okay. So now I'm going to glue this on. I am just not even sure where I'm going with this y'all. All right, I have to say to you while I'm doing this, the sun is finally out. It was really even dark still this morning. Um, and it's all the aftermath, I believe, of still of the hurricane, um, Hurricane Helen. And we are fortunate where we live that there's not really, we didn't really have issues except we've just had a lot of dark, rainy days that I'm really excited to have behind us, I hope. <laughs> Um, I think I mentioned we were trying to get our driveway sealed, and that did happen yesterday. Oh, this is going to work. I'm just going to piece this baby together, and having these kind of weird different layers, is it's making me like it a lot more. A little bit of layer there. Now we're going to put almost like just a stripe and I'm going to trim it off once I glue it down and you'll see kind of where I'm going with this. Get it on there. Yeah. We'll trim these off. Don't even need that right now. All right. We still have the butterfly here. We have this now. Let me open this other fun box up and grab, I just grabbed the one my hand touched. Let's see, um, brand, it's 
says Cosmo Cricket, Tiny Text Country Girl. All right, that's what we have. All right, let's do, um, well, this kind of goes into all the little affirmation stuff I've been doing lately, believe in goodness. And we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna slide believe in goodness right in this space I sort of left open. All right, fun. Yeah, I'm liking it. And then for the top, maybe one more little layer? Sure, why not? So we're gonna add some ink just to the edge. I'm gonna add some glue like this. We're gonna stick it down and then trim it off just to make our life a little bit easier. All right, so all of that, we kept one part of the embossing, which is the butterfly. We used a piece of the scrapbook paper that was in the stash and a sticker. So I think that counts, right? I think it does. Let's add some more ink and see here and then we'll do the orange one really quick. It definitely needs some type of topper and I had a whole lot of my fun, fun um, fluffy ribbons and things out the other day but I put them away so I guess I don't get to use those. Let's see what's this piece. Yeah that'll look good. Oh, my scissors went sideways and I'm gonna use my little slot punch so we can get a little loop on here. And this is some old vintage, <laughs> by now vintage probably Stampin' Up! ribbon. Again, this is from my stash. Cute, right? All right, I like that one. It took a moment, but it got there. And then let's see the one that we did the gold mushroom. This paper will coordinate well with it too. So let's see if I can successfully do a really skinny hand tear off of the bottom to give us, to give us an edge. And I'm gonna try the, the ruffle. I can remember how to do that without tearing it up. I did some different things, but it's, I've slept since I did that project. All right. Now this tag may end up taller because I only tore a little teeny tiny piece off of the bottom. If we need to, we will, um, we can trim it off the other way. And I'm trying to leave a little bit of a ruffle. I don't know. I may need to let that go. <laughs> you get the idea. We'll go back and find that video or maybe I'll redo it in a little different way because I think I did the, the dresses of um, some some ladies, um, like Victorian ladies, and then they had the big poofy dresses and I used paper to make ruffles on their dresses. It was fun. It was a whole thing. I enjoyed it. All right, let's look at the paper and see. Here's some script. I don't know. Oh, here, we've got another little piece of a postage. So let me tear that off and see if we can get a piece that I'll wanna use. Puts that on there. I don't know, do you guys like to tear paper? I've said this so many times, but my kids think it's quite funny that I tear paper up and then I glue it back together. But I like, obviously, making it my own, right? <laughs> All right, I have an idea. I think this piece is gonna kind of fill in beside the mushroom, tiny bit of ink, and then we'll do some strips so that our two tags, blue, and orange at least coordinate a touch. 
by similar, similar ideas. Let's see if I left this wide enough to go across as a strip. I think I did. All right. I didn't realize how much of a challenge this was gonna be when I started out, um, <laughs> I don't know, a week or so ago, saying, oh, let's um, let's do a, a, a surprise craft. But I'm gonna cut this, I don't like how tall it became. I'll cut it down just a touch and we'll trim it off. We may end up trimming it again if I end up doing another layer of paper on there. But yeah, I like that height a little bit better. It's almost the same height as this one. Okay, oh, a sticker, right? Let's get a sticker. Um, I love you, family. Um, here's to the princesses that wear boots. <laughs> you are loved, believe. There's a lot of, that kind of go with that um, country girl theme, but then there's a lot that like rodeo princess, but then we just have hope and beautiful and I love being with you. Okay. Um, how about the perfect day? Something about that mushroom makes me think we're having a good day. And I'm going to put it here. And I do think I want to tear another little piece to put across the top. And I didn't quite leave that wide enough. So I get to tear another piece. I do like this piece though. Maybe we'll do two pieces. I felt like that. That'll work and then we'll trim them off. And when you have this white core paper, if it tore kind of like my piece did, you can always come there. I'd rather have, have the, the kind of bulky extra piece um, pull that off and it can be thinner on the other side, that's okay. All right, I am going to, again, add glue. I'm gonna put this layer down first. And then for this one, I'm gonna add a little extra. Make sure it sticks. There we go. Okay, I'm getting glue everywhere. All right, I hope you guys have enjoyed this um, little mini series. Like I said, this is the third and final part because I've unpacked the giant box. I'm kind of glad to have the box unpacked because I won, I wanted to know what was in there. <laughs> and then two, it's been kind of just sitting here in the middle of my craft room. So I'm able to now find new homes for these pieces and um, be able to not have the big box in the middle of the floor. Okay, a ribbon for this one, and I think we'll call it done. So if you enjoyed the video, please give me um, a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know if you have ideas for other things you'd like to see. Please share. Um, if you haven't already, I, would, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and you will be notified when I upload new content. Right now, I've been on a pace to upload something just about every day, which is fun. It's nice being able to craft every day with you guys. Um, I'm sure as I get into the holidays and a few other busy seasons, we might not, we may not hit every day, but um, we'll see. I definitely have enjoyed y'all's support. You guys are awesome. It's fun seeing what you like. And it's interesting seeing, you know, what people don't respond as well to as well. You know, it's, it's always good to know. So, all right. There we go. We have the perfect day and believe in goodness. Very happy with those. I like the embossing. It feels good. It gives it some texture. Until next time, I hope everybody has fun and sparkle away. See ya.